Hello everyone, Kendra Ward here, ready to talk with you today about three ways to be more embodied in your life. So I've been hearing this a lot from people around me and just of course noticing in my everyday life um, that we are increasingly struggling with remaining and finding ways of being present and embodied in our physical body versus just operating from a place of uh, mental energy all day long. So um, this idea that we are becoming a culture of zombies walking around with our heads on fire with the stimulation of all that we are interacting with in our everyday life. Um, but what this means is an increasing divide between the mind and our ability to connect with our physical body. So uh, what does this mean exactly? It means that our lives are being increasingly influenced and taken over by technology in particular, which is having an impact on our posture. So it's creating that, that forward head tilt, that forward and down tilt from looking at a smartphone, at working on a computer, um, that it's, it's actually impacting our physical, the shape of our physical body. Um, it's also changing our social interactions, so it's changing the amount of eye contact we're getting from other people. And I know a lot of pediatricians are talking about this in children, noticing how um, there are more and more examples of our, our society, but particularly our children, not getting uh, enough of the cues from their parents and from those around them because people are just not looking each other in the face enough, which is a very, very sad thing. Um, and then also it's changing our expectations of time. So it's, it's uh, ramping everything up, uh, allowing us to uh, expect everything to be interact with and responded to in a much more rapid uh, time schedule. So just that just adds to the sp overall speed of life. Um, so interacting with technology, it just takes a huge amount of mental activity. And uh, I think that we're filtering a lot more information than we once did. And this means that our minds, our, our, our six shocker, our, 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 our mental selves are, are fritzing. You know, we're, we're just uh, requiring too much of that aspect of our being um, and we're not finding enough ways to to bring it down into core and, and other energy centers in our body so here are three ideas for trying to uh, stay a little more embodied in your life number one is just bringing more awareness around this whole issue. So for example, let's say you you worked all day, you were in your head the entire time, you get in your car and you're like, ah, take a big breath. I realize I'm in a body and this lasts for like 30 seconds maybe. And then we go home, we drive home, we're in, you know, um, sort of autobandic pilot, we um, interact with others, we watch some TV, we go to bed, and we've really only had five minutes of actual awareness time. So just beginning to pay attention in your life, beginning to uh, question and stay aware of how much am I really embodied in my everyday reality. So awareness is number one. Number two is, um, and there's no, no sugarcoating this at all, it, it, embodying requires uh, taking time and having a discipline around having what I call that, that slow time in your life where you are being more introspective, more reflective, um, slowing down, and having a purposeful counterbalance to the pace of everyday life. So finding a quiet, grounded place to sit um, and where you're purposely able to move the energy from your head to your core or your feet. Um, and a lovely little example of this is um, doing a brief gratitude uh, reflection meditation exercise uh, and starting with the top of your head and kind of working your way down and just taking a little time to give thanks to each part of your body. So maybe you start off with your sense organs and you give thanks for your sight, your hearing, your taste, 
your smell, your skin, and your touch. Um, and then you could move down into other areas. And this does not require you to have a degree in anatomy. Um, just working with the, the main organs of the body. So moving from the sense organs to your heart for all that it does for you every day. To your lungs for giving you vital, fresh energy to work with. And then, you know, moving from maybe some other vital organs downwards. And um, it really actually is an amazing practice because these are things that we are just so on automatic pilot with. And it really allows us to, to realize that our bodies are amazing. They're doing amazing things for us every day that we're taking for granted. And it allows us to just feel a little more fresh and awake in our lives. So number three is using technology to your advantage. So let's turn the tables here and you know there's actually a lot of good that technology can bring particularly in this realm of creating a global community um, and uh, there are some other things other ways you can use technology so one example is to set a chime in your phone to go off just a gentle little tiny you know chime every two hours and that uh, triggers you like a Pavlovian response to uh, try and do a little brief body scan. You know, something that's gonna take a couple minutes where you're just gently scanning your body, touching in, maybe um, noticing, oh, I'm tight in my shoulders or I'm tight in my belly or my posture is slumpy. Um, so really just allowing you to repetitively throughout the day set the tone over and over again because it really requires that kind of diligence to um, to repetitively touch base so another way of using technology is to um, use some sort of meditation app that will allow you to stay on track. Uh, an example of this is Headspace. A lot of folks love that idea of 10 minutes, especially something guided is really helpful, especially if you're a beginner. And uh, another, another awesome app is the Insight Timer, which allows you to uh, touch base with, and it tells you after you've meditated, how many people all over the world have also meditated with you at that same time. So talk about uplifting. And we all could really use that to realize that this earth is blessed with so many awesome people who feel and think and want the same things you do, um, just a shared sense of peace amongst humanity. So that's a really great uplifting thing. So um, number one is awareness. Number two is uh, making finding some kind of practice. Number three is using technology to your advantage. And I hope that this uh, sparks some awesome intention for the next few days.